Hi, I'm Sherwin and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna show you the 80 plus drill in table tennis. Last time on the first episode, I've showed you the 10 uh, different type exercise in table tennis. It's not easy, but it's work hard to master your stroke. I know some of you guys, you know how to do this drill, but some of them, they don't know how to do it. This video is really, really help to improve your technique. All you have to do is to subscribe to my channel and so you can notify if I upload new video. Anyhow, I know guys you're so excited to see our next video. So let's go. Exercise 11. Two backhand, one form. This exercise is a regular drill exercise. Easy to sidestep, at the same time, easy to control the ball. This type of exercise can give you more time to develop and improve your technique. Exercise 12. One or two backhand, one forehand. This is a irregular drill exercise. This drill can improve your reaction, timing, and confidence to play your stroke. The most important of this exercise, you have a good balance of your footwork so you can play your shot consistently. You can also add a serve as well to change your pace and your exercise. Anything you think you can improve your technique, do it. Exercise 13. Two forehand, one backhand. Similar exercise in the first part, if you remember guys. If you remember the two backhand and one forehand before, but this time you do two forehand topspin and one backhand topspin or backhand drive. Better you have a balanced exercise, not only do all backhand all the time and all forehand all the time. This stroke can give you more confidence on your forehand technique, so it's better to change the exercise in the opposite side of the table. Exercise 14 is a irregular exercise with one or two forehand topspin and one backhand. This exercise can give you an idea how you move fast and react on the ball. Always have a balance so you can play consistently. You can also add a serve and carry on on your exercise. This can give you more confidence to apply during your matches. Exercise 15. One backhand, one forehand, and one forehand wide or what we call falcon ball. This exercise is one of my favorite. It's hard, but it's worth it. I would suggest before you do this exercise, make sure you have a good balance on your footwork, stamina, so you can play your stroke with a good quality ball, not just like hit the ball and make yourself hard. That is no good. You can start with a small movement, like for example, one backhand, one forehand, and forehand in the middle. This can give you more time and balance and consistent on your stroke. Exercise 16. Same as Falcon Bird, but this time I add sub and pre-play. On this video, I use my back and open up. Better to use forehand stroke after you serve on this falcon ball. This can be push your confidence when you play especially in the match game. Guys, quality training and focus, that's the key if you want it to be a good in table tennis. Exercise 17. One backhand, one forehand wide, and one forehand in the middle. Then you can play pre-play, or you can fix this exercise and continue the pattern. But for me, I wanted to add a pre-play after my second forehand on this exercise.
you can add a sub and combine and continue the exercise on this stroke. Exercise 18. It's an interactive exercise. I do the service first and then your partners a second ball attack then you're gonna start with a counter block then irregular this exercise is not easy you need a good timing concentration and speed reaction especially when you do the counter spin it's not easy practice makes perfect exercise 19 is a multiple ball exercise backhand open up if you notice guys, Tintin concentrate of her backhand open up. Not just a cross target, but she wanted to play on the straight line, middle and etc. Repetition is the perfect sign to improve your stroke. Especially if you want it to be more explosive shot. Exercise 20. Forehand open up using short spin pose rubber. Tintin concentrate her forehand down the line. Also a forehand cross technique. Remember that multiple balls can give you more confidence on your technique. They can give you more agility, speed reaction, and more feeling on your stroke. These multiple balls uh, exercise, they can improve you really, really fast. Guys, if you think you have a weakness on the receiving, the forehand drive, backhand technique, your footwork, all this thing is you need to practice all the time. All you have to do is be positive, focus, concentrate, don't just play around and do nothing. Make sure you practice with the good quality. Remember guys, every balls matter. So guys, what do you think on our exercise? Please comment down below, send me your feedback, which exercise do you like the most? Guys, don't forget to like and share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Bye for now.